so you're not gonna let go of my dick. So just relax. I said, let go of my penis. The way she look at me, I got it playing on repeat. See, I've been popping pills and smoking weed. Call a doctor, I think I finally turned into a. What's good, guys? I'm back again with another bang. Today, we're doing a story time about the day that I nearly got raped. Now, the word nearly is emphasized here because I didn't get raped. And let me just put it out there that this is no pun intended. I'm not trying to use this for clickbait. I don't do that anyways. And I don't know, I don't even normally do story times, but quarantine's got us all messed up. And I just thought, you know what? Let me just tell some stories about my past, about the day that I nearly got raped by a female. Let's put it out there. And I'm going to try and make it entertaining because it's one of them ones where you just got to laugh for your pain because... You can't just come and I'll come on a cry cry thing. I'm just gonna tell you guys straight. And if anyone's ever been through something like this, male or female, I hope you found peace at your best. And I just hope all of that is sorted. So let's get straight into it. So if you know me, you know the kind of guy that I am. I don't really look out for girls. I'm not really a girl kind of guy. Like I'm not gay, but I just don't really have time for all of that. So I don't really tend to move to girls. But this was like about a year ago. So about this time last year, and maybe like a couple months before, I used to obviously talk to girls like on a regs thing. I used to try to move to girls, try to find a love of my life, which doesn't exist by the way. And there was this one girl that I must have just messaged on Instagram, DM'd her, and quick response. So I literally I was like, hey, she was like, hi, freaking okay, calm down. Like it was literally within seconds, like, hey, hi. It's like she was just standing there waiting for me to, to just message her. So I was like, okay, cool. Obviously, this one's got higher and um, what's the word? Like she's she's active in it. So I was like, oh, you're right. I'm good. How are you? I'm thinking, okay, okay, this is kind of scary now. Like this is it's not really what I, what, I'm, what I thought it would be like. But let's just skip through all of that. So we're talking, talking, talking. Active, active, active. We've moved this to texting now. So we didn't even move this to Snap. You know, normally people, but this time last year, people used to move like Instagram DMs to Snap. I moved mine straight to text because I just feel like you know that's the that's the only place I'll talk to you properly. Cool. This girl's a pretty girl. I'm not gonna cap. I'm not gonna give her no nickname or whatever. She's just a girl. And um, so we're texting now. And this was like during the first couple of days of knowing her. So we're texting. I was getting to know. Her. Everything seemed normal. Everything seemed calm. She was telling me about her her pets. She said how she had two cats and one dog. It's like the whole the whole house just sounded like a like a fucking animal forest. Asked me if I had pets. I said no. I asked me about siblings. She's the only child. I'm like, cool. Asking about me, yeah, I have a brother, I've got a sister, this and that. So we got to know each other a bit more, asked little, little questions, and she drives and I drive. So it's a thing whereby getting to each other wasn't a problem, but we ain't even, we ain't even gotten there yet. Cool. Then, um, so this was like a couple of days in now, like the third day now, for the third, fourth day, it got to the point where she was always like trying to say, oh, can we speak on the phone? Can we speak on the phone? I'm like, cool, because me normally, I'm not going to cap, I'm not the kind of guy to speak on the phone. I don't even like all of that because I feel like once you start speaking to someone on the phone, you start to hear the voice a lot. You start to get a bit attached to them in a way and it just gets to the point where you just need to do it all the time. And if you don't, it's like things are falling apart. So I don't really like to do phone calls too tough. Let me not even cap. So but with this girl, I was like, you know what? Fine. So we spoke one time on the phone and we spoke for hours. So we spoke for like two, three hours and that's not me, guys. I can't even do 20 minutes conversation on the phone. I don't like it. I can, but I don't like doing it. So it's gone now. It's now like two, three hours. I'm like, oh, I'm going to sleep. She's like, no, don't go to sleep. Don't go to sleep. I'm like, why, why, why not? No, no. Like, just give me a couple more hours. A couple more hours. It was this was this was like three hours. She said, couple more hours. I said, yeah. I said, no, I can't even do that. She's like, no. I just hung up. Not in a rude way, but because I knew for a fact we would have been there all day. So I just hung up and I just texted her saying, listen, I'm going to bed. I'll speak to you tomorrow. Cool. I didn't even want to know her response. I just put my phone in an airplane mode and I slept. Next morning, I've seen bare text. Good morning, sweetheart. Blah, blah, blah. I had a dream about you. I'm like, ah, okay. What was the dream about? She probably didn't even have a dream about me. What was the dream about? Oh, we was in a room together and we were making love. It was beautiful. It was bliss. It was like Disney. I said, okay, this one's a bit of a fantasy dreamer. You see, the thing about me, yeah, normally from like, well, at the stage that I'm at right now, from 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 here, I would have cut. Do you get even from when she was replying so quick, I would have blew up. But back then, I had patience. I had time. So I was giving this girl patience. I was like, okay, cool. Like, if this is how you are, then this is how you are, innit? Cool. A weekend now, I was talking. And she's like, oh, I can't wait to see you, blah, blah, blah. What's your favorite restaurant? This is just asking all these questions. So I'm thinking, mm -hmm, this is where business is now. I'm talking about meeting her, seeing her. Cool. Once again, we both drive. Cool. So it's one of them ones where we haven't even spoken about what we're going to do. 
Like, we haven't spoken about it. We just said we're going to see each other. Cool. Two days before we met now, we're talking about what we want to do. So I'm like, oh, um, let's go eat at Vaps or let's go eat here. I'm thinking about let's go eat at somewhere fancy. I'm thinking this is going to be one cute day. This is going to be blah, blah, blah. She's like, mm, mm, I don't really know. I don't really want to go out eat in public. I don't really, I'm not really a public kind of guy. I'm thinking, what do you mean you're not a public kind of guy? Like, what, what else are we going to do? She's like, um, this is going to sound weird, but like, do you like, do you get free yards? I'm like, okay, this is, this is a bit weird. So I'm like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to get a free yard, but it's a thing whereby I can get one of my man them to pattern me an apartment and then, you know, we can go there, we can chill, we can order food, I can even cook. Oh, that was going to be a cap. I wasn't going to do that. But I was like, we can just chill, we can order food, we can relax, we can watch a movie. Straight away, as soon as I said that, okay, yes, sure, let's do that. Oh my God, yes. I'm thinking, ah, so yeah, let's do that. Or if that's not even available, we can get a hotel. I'm thinking, ah, ah. I'm thinking first date, you want to go to a hotel or apartment. Apartment for me made more sense because it's a crib at least. You can watch TV, you can make food, you can do this, you can just relax. Shannon, you can do a hotel. Hotel is fine. I'm like, hotel is fine. Hotel is fine. Hotel is fine. I said, okay. Okay. We'll do a hotel. Let me not bother my boy and get him to go and get an apartment. Let me just do a hotel. So now I've booked a hotel, Travel Lodge. I think it was Travel Lodge or um, Premier Inn. I don't even know. One of those ones, anyways. I've booked it now. I sent her the receipt. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm seeing you. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, no. I have some. So, I'm so excited. I'm thinking, this is the worst person I've ever spoken to in my life. But I've got to the point where now it's, it's meeting. So there's no point in me cutting. I've already ordered the hotel. I've already kind of like made a little bond. Not a bond, but I know this girl a bit more. It's like, let me just see the last stages. Cool. I've booked her in Reels now. And I've gone to pick her up. Like I said, we both drive. But I've gone to pick her up from her side. And it's a thing whereby looks wise pretty girl do you know what I'm i've seen i'm like raw like hmm maybe i can overlook all this stupidness maybe i can even humble her a bit looks wise cute hops in the car i'm like hey she, this 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 is exactly what she did i'm thinking what's, I'm, I'm just here like what's going on like are you all right She's like, oh my god, she starts touching my face. She's like, oh, you actually look pretty in person. Oh, my, you know, you're a pretty boy, right? Like, you're so pretty. I'm like, thank you, thank you. But you're right, though. Like, how, how's your day? She's not even answering the question. She's saying, oh, you're just so pretty. Oh my god. She was just acting shocked. Like, she was, she was in shock. And I'm telling you guys, this is a beautiful girl next to me. Like, a girl you wouldn't expect all of this to happen with. So, got into the hotel. She's still grinning. Still doing it with that dumbness. And. I'm now like, oh, okay, cool. Um, I've checked in, gone upstairs. I'm like, should I order some food to this place? The reason why I keep saying food is because I just want it to be a thing whereby it's casual. It's not just a sex kind of thing because I, that would just mean your thing. I don't have time for all of that. So she's now like, no, I'm not hungry. I told you already I'm cool. I'm like, what do you want to do then? Do you want to just relax? She's like, yeah, just relax. So now, I'm, it's, not like, it's not like I'm a batty man or whatever, but she's laying and she's like going straight to the bed. And I'm just like walking around the bed. Like I'm just walking around the hotel. Just trying to just talk to her. Just I don't want to see because if I get in that bed, it's over. She gonna say it's done. But I'm just walking around the bed, just trying to just waste time. Just you know what I'm trying to say. I'm taking off my jacket, hanging it up, straightening it, doing all of these things. She's like, come in the bed, come in the bed. I'm like, wait, go on down. Uh -uh. Just relax. She's already under the covers. She's still got clothes on. Under the covers, just excited. I'm like, ah, ah. you know what? Fuck it. Let's actually, let me just play, go with this girl's rule and just see what she's on. So this is where everything, everything goes downhill. So I've gone to the bed now and you know, you know, there's something that girls like to do. Let me see if I can. So this is the bed. Yeah. I hope everyone can see. This is the bed. She's laying down here. This is one thing that girls like to do. I, I did it on that day. So I went to go sit at this corner right here. I put my, the edge of my ass right here at this corner of the bed. Just cause, just so I know we ain't got to do nothing. So I just sat right here like a, like a dickhead. And then she's like, oh, why, are you, why are you acting shy? Me, shy. Me, king of confidence, shy. Why are you acting shy? I said, me, shy. I'm not shy. So now, and I expanded my, my, my position from here to here. <laughs> Thinking I've done some mad thing. I went from here to here. She's like, oh, you know what? You just, just suit yourself. I'm like, whatever, I'll suit myself. So we're talking, talking, talking now. Just having, this time we're actually having a normal conversation. And then she now starts to put her feet, like she was, she was using her feet to like, disturbed my back so she was like climbing it she was rubbing it everything that she could do with her feet she was just doing i was just thinking ah, what was it mean i just i felt like i felt like a, i felt like a chick yeah i was just getting molested i was like ah, what's what 
What's even what's not going on? She's like, come here. I was like, where do you want to come to? We're in a hotel, like this is even getting scary. And then just when I thought we couldn't get worse, after the feet rubbish, she now starts to like trying to strangle me, not strangle me, but wrap her legs around my neck. And I'm just there like a fucking idiot thinking, oh stop man, stop her. Uh, oh get off my neck, uh, like a prick, like an idiot that I am. Get off my neck, uh, get off my neck. Uh. And then it got to the point where this girl just pulled me, pulled me from the back to the bed. I said, Jesus Christ, I said, what's going on? Pulled me to the bed, yeah, like ag aggressively, not even a soft, just baga. I said, yeah, basa kasi gibi. So what's going on? She's like, oh, um, you know, you're, you're just annoying me, like, like, what's wrong with you, like, come on the bed, man. I figured, don't talk to me like that, because you know me, when I stop doing my angry thing, it's not easy kind of thing, you know what I'm saying? So don't talk to me like that. Boom, I'm giving her my anger now. She's like, oh, calm down, I didn't mean it like that. I said, yeah, better not mean it like that. Right, calm down. She's like, just like, just stop moving shy away from me. I said, I'm not shy. I just don't want to come too close too early. Like, I want you to get comfortable with me first. Like, I'm, I've gone back to my gayness now from the hard guy. She's now like, no, it's not like thief. I just want to just be near you. I'm like, calm. So now we're near each other. I'm like, she laying there. I'm laying there. So we're literally laying next to each other. Now, me being a cock that I am, me being an idiot, I'm just laying like this because I'm not trying to get attacked. So I'm just laying, I'm not putting hands anywhere. And then once again, we're talking, we're just getting to know each other a bit more. So this girl knew what she was doing. She would talk when I'm near her or she would talk when she gets what she wants. And then this is where my heart started to go. <laughs> her hands went from being in the bed. You know when girls do this with their hands? Hands was like this at first. So that went... Mm -mm. My thighs. My thigh, my thigh. It was like a tap, tap, tap. Tap on the thigh, tap on the thigh. Boom, boom, boom. Rub, rub, rub. Rubbing, rubbing on the thigh. Grips the thigh. Hands went higher. Higher! My penis got grabbed. My penis just got grabbed without permission. It just got grabbed. And you see, the thing is, yeah, you see when you're not feeling, when you're not feeling, when you're not in the vibe, there's no, it doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't get hard. It doesn't. It doesn't get hard. So because you're not feeling it, just got grabbed. I said, yeah. I said, get off my penis, please. I said, like, please, just let go of my dick. She's like, oh, calm down. I was just playing around. I said, no. This girl's so grabbing it. I'm thinking, get off my penis. Like, what's going on? She's like, oh, just relax. Like, what's wrong with you? Trying to pull my trousers down. Everything, just ripping everything apart. I said, yeah. Just ripping, ripping. I was like, ah, taking on my top. I said, Jesus Christ. I said, and this is the point where I'm now trying to escape. Like, not even escape. I'm trying to get up. But this girl's got. She's got a hold of my dick. She's holding it. And the thing is, I know if I, if I move too much, it'll start to hurt. And I'm not trying to put myself in pain. I'm not trying to hurt my penis. So I'm like, get off me, man. Slapping the hand, slapping it. She's still holding it. I'm just like, ah, ah. So you're not going to let go of my dick. So I, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I calmed down. I said, so you're, and at this point, she's holding my dick. So I said, so you're not going to let go of my dick. She said, just relax. I said, let go of my penis. She's still holding it. I said, Jesus Christ. So now I'm just cool. I'm like, so now we're both, we're both just looking at each other. Yeah, not looking at each other. I'm, I'm like this, but she's looking at me, and I'm not, neither of us are talking. She's still holding my dick, so I'm just like this. And she's still holding my dick. <laughs> Can you imagine what I was going through? So I said, Have you calmed down now? I said, Are you mad? I said, Let's go on my penis. So eventually, this is how this, let me show her guys how she let go of the penis. One, two, three. By here, I already knew she had less control. I just slapped her hand. I said, If you ever touch me like that again, I'll break your head into 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I would shatter it. I said, what the bombs? What the bombs is this? I was so angry. You look like, fam. And the thing is, it wasn't an angry thing where I was going to like punch her. I was just saying that I was going to punch her. I was going to hit her. I said, what? I said, get out of this hotel. She said, no, I'm not leaving. You know what I did? I picked up my bags. I I cut the fuck out. She was even trying to stop me. I said, if you, if you, if I elbow you, Jesus Christ will come in today and will drag you with his own hands away from me. You better go away from me. I was, I'm, guys, my penis got held captive. I, she held my penis. I said, God damn, the way I skied out, yeah. So, I've now escaped her. So that, was, that, was, that was my little rape situation. I've now escaped her. I'm now in a car, texting my boy, saying, No, you won't even believe what happened. He's like, Oh, you mashed it in. I forget, this is what you're never in the right session. I texted me saying, I'm sorry. I said, Keep your sorry and choke on it. Die without your sorry. Are you mad? Fam, guys, I've never experienced such thing in my life. I've never been so scared. Like, that was actually the, the worst thing I've ever been through in my life. Like, it was actually terrible. 
And it, the only way, it's like after, after, and I, was, and, I, and I said to her, don't ever shout at me again, blah, blah, blah. She's trying to call me. I just blocked her number. And guys, guys, that's the worst situation I've ever been in. That's why when you lot are now asking me, oh, Moses, why do you hate girls so much? Why are you always talking negative about girls? Look what I just went through. I've, my dick has been held, held captive. Can you imagine? So, I just hope no man name ever goes through that. If a girl was ever trying to bark, if a girl, if you ever DM a girl, she replies within two seconds. And all these things that I said from the early stage, if you see those, avoid it. She's going to grab your dick and she will hold it. So, I hope no man name ever goes through that. Do you understand? That just, just gave me PTSD. I just felt like my penis was being held again. But thank God it wasn't. So, we'll let that one go. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. If you like one more story times, I got a lot. I just don't like to do it because I don't want my videos to be too cliche. But if you actually enjoyed it and you want to see more, like, comment, subscribe. Comment as well that you want to see more and I'll make it happen. You know what? 1,500 likes will tell me that you guys like this. Just that it will, let, it will inform me. So I hope you guys liked it. I'll see you guys next time. The way she look at me, I got it playing on repeat See, I've been popping pills and smoking weed Call a doctor, I think I finally turned into a fiend Lenny finding him in my sleep